What's up, family? It's Relationship Friday. I am KD Bo in the studio with the beautiful licensed therapist and life coach, Robin May. Hey, KD. All right, so here's another question that we deal with, and uh, yes. this one came in. People always stress the importance of communication, mm -hmm. but some people say we're fine as long as we're not communicating. The problem comes in when we start communicating. What in yeah. the world? I actually love that question. I think we want to make sure we're explaining it. In other words, that when I'm communicating with my spouse, when we finally try to talk about the tough stuff, right. that's when it blows up. If we Drama. just ignore the tough stuff, we're good. Is that right. what you mean? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so first of all, if I'm talking to Katie, when I'm working with couples, and it's a Christian couple, because all the couples I work with aren't believers. So if I'm working with a Christian couple, I like to say this part, and this might seem a little churchy, but it's not. We can't forget the role. If we're having challenges with communication, let me first start by saying, don't forget the role of the Holy Spirit. God really can help you deal with the stuff in the communication with our spouse that gets messy. Um, the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's even in our relationship. So here we go. If me and my spouse are having a hard time communicating and every time we talk, we are blowing up. Right. Katie, that means that there's some landmines that are keeping us from connecting. Okay. So let me tell you what I often find in dealing with communication. Three things happen. Either the person shuts down. I don't like how this conversation is going, so I'm just going to stop having it. Right. Either they defend. All I want to do is defend my position. I don't want to hear yours. Wow. Or they disregard. I really don't care what you're saying. Mm. It doesn't mean much. I'm going to minimize it. I want you to take a moment, whoever you are, and identify which one of those things you do. Do you shut down? Uh -huh. Do you defend? Or do you disregard? So here we go. If that's happening... What are the landmines that's keeping us from connecting? Let me give you a few. Number one, the person may not trust you. Your spouse may not trust you. And that's not just fidelity. Fellas, a lot of times, can't trust their wives with their vulnerability. Wow. I can't be vulnerable with my wife because whenever I am, she throws it up in my face. Wow, that's true. One of the landmines might be stubbornness. It might be selfishness. You and your spouse got to figure out what is really happening when we're trying to connect and when we're trying to communicate that's keeping us from being able to do it. So what do you do? Here are four things I think every couple needs to do. Number one, you have to learn how to intentionally hear what your spouse is saying, even if you don't like it. Number two, you have to make sure that you are communicating in a way that your spouse can hear. The two of you need to, number three, be able to come up with mutually beneficial goals. And then here is the fourth one. Push past the surface and let's get to the real issue. The issue is not the dishes. The issue is not the toilet tissue. What's the real issue? All right. Well, good stuff. You want to reach out for us, katiebo.com, Robin May Online, and all of our social media.